The presence of Arab Americans and Muslims is evident almost everywhere in Dearborn, Michigan. And now, infuriated by President Joe Biden's handling of the situation in Gaza, this community is determined to be both seen and heard at the ballot box. The anger that I feel towards him is just, it's, it's immeasurable. It's nothing compared to even the way I felt about Trump. The betrayal, the assumption that the, the Democratic Party stood for the moral high ground for human rights and the protection of minorities, that's all gone. Lookman helped lead the charge to vote uncommitted in last month's Michigan primary. It's an effort to signal President Biden that he risks losing the Arab American vote in a key battleground state. Most Arab Americans are registered as Democrats, um, about two to one Democrat to Republican. Middle East politics definitely play a role in the majority of Arab American and Muslim voters um, and how they make their final decisions when it comes to voting. Donald Trump won Michigan in 2016 by under 11,000 votes. Four years ago, Biden won the state by about 120,000 votes. There were an estimated 200 to 300,000 Arab Americans in the state, although not all are eligible to vote. I think there's a reason why we're focused on the Arab Americans in Michigan, because it's kind of, they, they have almost exactly the number of votes to, to change the election result. Gaza's health ministry says more than 30,000 Palestinians have been killed in Israel's offensive. Many Arab Americans are unhappy the Biden administration is providing Israel with weapons used in Gaza. It's not just the Arab American population that I would be concerned about if I was a Biden advisor. It would be the young people because almost overwhelmingly the young people are disgusted by what they see. After the Michigan primary, a Biden campaign spokesperson said the president hears the voters participating in the uncommitted campaigns and that he shares their goal for a just, lasting peace. But for some Arab American voters, there's no going back. Even if he decides to completely do a 360, he has already caused so much harm. So we're saying enough is enough. Uh, we no longer want our tax dollars going to, uh, you know, purchase bombs and, and uh, you know, and give Israel more military aid to, to bomb Palestinians. We'd rather that money come into our schools. The potential for political damage could extend beyond the presidential race. Lukman says in the Senate race, progressive Arab Americans might lean toward Justin Amash, a Republican of Palestinian origin. He's facing pro-Israel Democrat Alyssa Slotkin. And let's see a Republican senator come out of Michigan. The Democratic Party has a lot to lose, a lot more than just the presidency. Especially if the races come down to Arab American voters in Michigan. Dora McQuar, VOA News, Dearborn, Michigan.